Ooh, here we go, another video! Yay! Hello everybody and welcome back to Achieve Wolf Collection. Thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. You guys, I'm a full-time content creator, so your views are so important to me. My name is Brooke, for those of you guys who may be new, and I am a collector that specializes in Sailor Moon merchandise. You guys are going to notice I am wearing the Target kids dress. I know, I know. I'm just as shook as you guys are out there. I remember when we posted this dress when, when one of our team members on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com saw the listing on Target and we're like, oh man, it's, it's for kids, you know? So we kind of like, that just went outside over here. We're like, okay, well, it's for kids, so we probably can't buy it. We can't fit into it, whatever. But I kept thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, if I ever run across it, at a Target store, I'm going to try it on because I have wore kids t-shirts before. I always have to get like a large or an extra large, but I can fit into the t-shirts. So I was kind of thinking in the back of my mind, if I ever run across it, I might try it on, you know? And it did take me until last weekend. I did run into it in person and I was like, Kurt, 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 hashtag Kurt's crew. You guys, that's my husband for those of you guys who don't know. I was like, I have to go take these two sizes into the fitting room at Target to try on these dresses and see if they fit because I'm a sucker for the Cosmic Heart Compact. I actually have it on me for life. It's, uh, I don't know, it's very special to me. So when, when this dress came out, I was like, I, I absolutely love the print. It's it's beautiful, it's bold, it's in your face. Um, so I took both sizes uh, back there to the, to the dressing room to see which one would fit. And I do like the XL on me the best. And if you guys haven't seen the video yet, I do have a short right here on YouTube if you want to check that video out of me in the fitting room at Target trying on both sizes. So I do try on the large and the extra large so you can see kind of how they fit on me. I am five foot six inches around 141 pounds. <laughs> but I know a lot of you guys ended up commenting on the video and I posted it. I cross posted it across some other socials as well. Um, I also did it like on Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. So I got, you know, some, some feedback on, on that dress on different socials that a lot of you guys were like, oh my gosh, run into Target right now. So hopefully you guys, um, it's fitting you just as, just as well. I do feel like they fit kind of like the black milk dresses. And in fact, I feel like this size right here is a lot looser than some of the dresses that I got from black milk. But as far as length goes, it's about the same. Like it's just as short as some of the other black milk dresses. So I mean, I, I understand that not every body can fit into these dresses, but some of us can, and it is an option for some of us. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, put it out there on the internet that um, you guys can go try those dresses to see if they fit you if you want. <laughs> but today is not about the Target dress. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Um, I got a package today and I am so stoked for this. And I'm going to tell you why. They are dolls. They are the Sailor Moon style dolls of the inner Sailor Guardians. I got them in this box right here. I just got them in the mail yesterday and I'm filming the video today, y'all. I am going at it. Um, this new era for me on YouTube is so strange. A lot of you guys have noticed you seem happier, you seem less stressed, um, you're, you're more natural. Uh, when it is just flowing like, you know, we're having a conversation, you know, face to face. Um, so I thank you guys so much for giving me that kind of feedback that really inspired me and motivated me to continue on with these type of videos. So y'all are awesome. I always appreciate the feedback and I always take it to heart as well. Even even my uh, real critical ones, you know, I'll uh, cry about it forever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but today I do have the inner Sailor Guardian style dolls. We're going to unbox them from the shipping box and take a peek at them and see what we think of them. So I did get mine from Big In Japan, not to be confused with Big Bad Toy Store, uh, Big In Japan, it's biginjap.com. They're kind of like, I don't want to say like a proxy service, but they kind of are. Um, they are, they'll post like premium Bondi Japan products where, you know, you only could get them if you used a proxy, but they'll post a direct shopping link for a lot of the uh, P Bondi items and you can order from them directly. And I've been using them for many, many years, you guys. I'm not like, I'm not just saying it because I just got one package from them. No, I've been using them for many years for premium Bondi items. Um, I, I love them. So um, that's just my personal opinion. You guys are always free to use them as well. It's not like a secret or anything. And I will also have the link down there in the description to our Sailor Moon Fan Network post about the Inner Sailor Guardian style dolls for you guys to find out all the information as far as like when they were announced, um, when did pre-orders go live, 
um, the price and everything. Um, and I, and I do know some of it on the top of my head, but as you guys know, who have been subbed to my channel and have been watching my new videos, you know, I'm not going to just bored you guys to death with all the facts. I'll just provide the link down there below. And then you guys can go look at it. If you want more information, here's how they come packaged. I have not opened them up yet out of the bubble wrap. I've opened the box and I kind of peeked at like the bubble wrap portion of it but I have not opened them up yet so this is gonna be my first reactions my first opinions right here on this channel I always love big in Japan because they do package their items very well as you can see they used a pretty sturdy box and they also use that brown paper I'm gonna just toss this Woo! oh no that actually knocked down one of my bins okay okay I regret that 1000% Oh well, we must continue on because I am not doing a lot of editing for these videos anymore. So let's just not stress about that. Uh, here's how they come. They just kind of put them all like this. As you guys can see, I do own all the other Sailor Moon style dolls that they have been releasing. Um, I do have an unboxing of the first Super Sailor Moon one right here behind me on my channel now if you want to check that video out. I'll also have the link down there below. Um, but I don't think I did any... I did not do an unboxing for Princess Serenity, which I have right here. I do own two two of them as well. Like I have her unboxed and her over there. But I think I did a um, like a, a short on it, not like a full long long term long form YouTube video on it. And they use good bubble wrap. Oh, love it! I always save the bubble wrap too to you know ship other items in. That's my little collector tip. That way, oh, they're actually falling down. Oh my gosh, we got Mercury right here. I should have been more careful, should have been more careful. You know, this is the raw me. This is the naturally flowing organic me, stuff I normally would cut out. You guys are just getting it all. Hopefully you're okay with that still. <laughs> I've got them all on the floor right now. I'm just gonna, you know, show them one at a time in order as they appear in the show, in the manga. So first ones first, you guys, we have Sailor Mercury. I haven't even looked at her yet, so give me just a moment. Let me, let me soak it in, let me soak it in have to get the good lighting you know oh my god okay i i need to say I, i've been seeing some photos trickle out you know from collectors that have already got them already opened them up and so they shared pictures on their social media and whatnot and some of the pictures i was kind of like uh oh i don't know if i'm gonna like these as much as i thought i would but first impression of mercury love her 10 out of 10 solid doll her box is beautiful her face is beautiful oh her blue color so vibrant so saturated they did good on her and her eyes look really good too oh oh yep i like her i like her a lot um i really love the star on the choker the tiara is is really like positioned on the forehead very well i love that they included even the details on her um her uh left ear over here with her uh three piercings that she has on that left ear they they went all out for us you guys and i will have some just like b-roll on the screen so you guys can also see and you know react with me and uh enjoy this beautiful doll on the back we have a lot of uh sailor moon eternal scenes of sailor mercury i feel like they chose some good ones oh my gosh can i just kind of like have a have a real talk with you guys about this scene right here where she's got the water coming out of her fingertips when i was a kid I used to take a shower and I'd let the water run down my arm and let the, you know, water and I'd spread my hand out like this. And just like that, that's how the water would go flowing. And I would pretend like I was Sailor Mercury in the shower. I don't think I've ever admitted that to anybody out loud until today. Uh, let me know if I'm not alone in that, but that's what I would do. I just let the water run down and go like this with my hands. And I'd be like, I've got the power of water, you know, <laughs> that image right there just boom that just that memory just came back to me and I'm like you know what I'm just airing out everything these days I'm just letting you guys know the real me and uh that's that's um, a part of me that happened <laughs> oh the box is so pretty okay well that's Mercury I know we have you know three more to go after here you guys let me know what you think of Sailor Mercury we do have the toy animation sticker on the back of course um my only like the dolls boxes are a lot smaller than the other ones and that's really because i think that they included some other things with um you know they included their wands with chibi moon and, and sailor moon back there and also sailor moon had a card so right off the bat i'm thinking i would have loved it if you know they gave them their or uh, or even you know her harp oh my gosh that would have been cool if they had some sort of extra 
extra prop or even a card. I would have just taken a card. So I'm, I'm kind of bummed about that, but the dolls are so beautiful. I'm not going to let, you know, the extra items that they didn't include take away from the beauty of the dolls. Um, let's pull out Sailor Mars, the one that went crashing down. <gasps> okay, okay. I, remember how I just said about Sailor Mercury that some of the photos that I've been seeing of other collectors getting these dolls don't do them justice. These look 100% better in person. Wow. Oh my gosh. They did her um, red star earrings so well. Her hair does have a slight purple tint to it. So for, you know, accuracy, gorgeous. Same thing on the back. We've got some really beautiful, you know, um, images of Sailor Mars from Sailor Moon Eternal. It kind of shows, you know, some of the, you can like pop the hip out and rotate the, the leg where it attaches to the hip. Not mad I got these. Not mad I got these. Sailor Mars. Oh my gosh, look at her bangs. I just love how she's kind of, fl the, the hair in general, like even the, the tips of her hair, like where they are, you know, kind of by her, her elbows, it flips out in the box. Like even in the box, they look good. I know there are um, you guys out there who, you know, de-box dolls and you guys restyle the hair and, and, and in some cases redo their, their, uh, their faces and, and the makeup on their faces. So I know a lot of you guys out there um, are probably going to buy these and restyle the hair like to accuracy from the show. And I love seeing that you guys are so talented out there. So if you ever see like somebody who restyled uh, the style dolls hair, it's so funny, restyle the style dolls hairs, please tag me on, on social media so I could be aware so I could check it out because I'm not that talented. I don't know how to style doll hair that well, but I always appreciate people who can do that. And then my girl, oh my I'm always going over here because it's the better lighting for me because it's kind of dark in this corner. Did you guys kind of notice I moved? I can't, I've been working on this room as you guys have known. If you guys, you know, follow me on social media, if you have been watching the last couple of videos on my channel, I'm organizing my room and I can't get over there to my little filming nook. So we're filming over here today. Um, Jupiter is fantastic. Oh my gosh, she might be my best, my favorite one. I know I'm so biased. I think her gloves fallen off. Oh, that might bother me. It's like, kind of slipped down a little bit in the box but her face is so good i have to compliment the way that they did their eyes spot on from the anime beautiful oh gosh i love her hair although it looks a lot more brown on this doll you know like um from the the reboot of sailor moon like crystal eternal cosmos i feel like the colors are a lot like they're they're more pastel they're more like cutesy and Jupiter and you know Jupiter and Makoto her hair is like an auburn color like like a strawberry-ish auburn color and and on here I feel like they did make it really brown like the 90s anime so I kind of wish it was like a little lighter in color that would have been uh, a little bit more accurate I think but <laughs> that's so minor I still love her so much you guys she's absolutely beautiful yes okay so even on the box they kind of doled out this image of her hair they really did because if you look at the back you can actually see it's a lot more red because these are actually screenshots from the animation and it looks a lot more red so my only critique about jupiter like just first impressions is i wish her hair was you know more red <laughs> that would have been perfect and also i am biased because you know i'm kind of like a i'm in between brown and redhead and I, I always like you know relate to jupiter the most and i'm always like i just want to i just want her to look a little bit more like me <laughs> <laughs> but oh I, ca I can't complain the way that they did her is is beautiful you guys i i love these dolls so much you guys will have to let me know down there in the comments did you guys buy these did you collect these um we'll talk a little bit more about if p bondi usa is gonna get them i know i'm gonna get asked that and i do want to mention that but for now we gotta bring out sailor venus the guardian of love and beauty oh and boy does she live up to those terms but her gloves I, okay if i shook this box that glove's falling out that glove's falling out i guess i'm gonna have to open these now i was not prepared to do like an unboxing video of these i was going to do an unpackaging video from the shipping box but today i was just going to it's just gonna be my first reactions opening them up talking about them um because can i be real with you guys I love a Minton doll box as much as I love a deboxed doll. Like they're they're equal to me in, in terms of like what I like. And I really wanted to have this conversation because I know there are some collectors out there who 
are really like dead set in on their opinions. Like you, if you buy a doll, you have to debox it. Or if you buy a doll, you're supposed to keep it in the box. Like it's really, you know, either this or that. And I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I love to debox some dolls and I love to also collect box, uh, dolls mint in their box. And I don't think there's any right or wrong way. I think it all depends on the person. I mean, it's your stuff. You're paying the money for it. You can do whatever you want with your items. And my initial thought on the first set that I got, and I'm going to explain what I mean by that. So when these came out, gosh, it was back in November when the pre-order started. I was actually in Japan at the time, no doubt. I had to pay for them then. And of course, you know, it's four dolls. It, they were really, they were really kind of expensive. And Normally when I debox a doll, I like to get a second one. Sometimes. I'm not going to say I do that all the time. But for these dolls, I do. Because I think they look great in the box as well. And I didn't have the money to buy an additional set at the time. So here was my thought process on it. I was going to buy my Japanese set. Because the Japanese set will uh, come out first. And you get them early. And you get them first. And then I was really counting on P-Bondi USA to do a, a North American and United States release later. Because... As we seen with patterns, they have done that with the style dolls, all but the um, the museum one. They have not done that with the museum one, but they have done it with Princess Serenity, with um, Super Sailor Moon, and Super Sailor Chibi Moon. So I was really counting on pre-orders to, shoot, I was hoping that they would have been out by now on P-Bondi USA. And then I was going to go ahead and grab a second set because that splits up your money, you know? Like I paid for a set in November and then I could pay for another set, you know, several months later, you know? But we haven't seen that yet. And I know I want to talk about that, as I mentioned earlier. I don't know if these are going to show up on P-Bondi USA. They have not yet. As I'm filming this video, I checked this morning before I, I hopped on this video to film. And they have not put these up. So honestly, you guys, I'm not sure. I'm really hoping and I'm really counting on them too. Because I would love a second set. But they've only had, you know, the other one so far. And right now, when I checked this morning, you guys, you can still grab Super Sailor Moon and Super Sailor Chibi Moon. Oh wait, sorry, take that back. Not Super Sailor Moon. Super Sailor Moon is not available. You can still get Princess Serenity, the yellow haired version, and Sailor Chibi Moon on pbondiusa.com. And I will have a link below for you guys if you want to grab them. They are $48 each. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about is the price on, on these dolls. I think the price is absolutely atrocious. That's $50 for a, not even a nine inch tall doll. And that is insane to me and I know why they're doing it. I know why they're doing it. They know that, you know, people who are going to buy these dolls are all adults and have money. That's what their that's their thought process, I'm sure. But the thing is, this I I honestly believe they're the same quality as like a toy store doll would be. So, in my opinion, they should have been like 20 bucks around there. Like literally, like the maximum $20 and and I know I'm not like a huge complainer. A lot of you guys always tell me, Brooke, your videos are so positive. You know, your energy is great and all of that. But I do want to be real with you guys. I do think that the prices point on these dolls is very high. But then again, look at me. I bought them all. So, I mean, I don't know what to say to that. I just want to be honest with you guys. I do think that the quality is like a $20 doll. I mean, look, they don't even come with any accessories. And they're still, you know, $48 each. Um... So that's where I stand on the price. I, I, I really don't like that price, but I guess it is what it is. There's nothing that, you know, I personally can do about it. Um, but just keep that in mind. They are kind of pricey. And again, that's why I can only get one set at a time because that was, you know, a lot of money. It was like 200 bucks right there, basically. That, that is right. You guys know I'm bad at math. 50, 50, that's 150, 50, 200. Yeah, so plus shipping from Japan. So yeah, it was, it was pretty pricey. I, I'm pretty sure, you know, it was like 200 and... 20 bucks you know in the end um for these guys and that's pricey uh we all can agree that is not cheap so really super sad about the price i know i just ranted like three minutes on the price but i just wanted to make it clear i don't like the price i just don't <laughs> the price aside you guys they're gorgeous i don't have any regrets at all buying them as i was talking about i do like dolls in box and out of box I think I will do another video unboxing these, especially since some of their gloves look like they are hanging on for dear life. Um, that's not going to look right. And if I just shake it a little bit, they're, they're coming down. They're coming down. And, and that's going to look not very good, you know, in the box. But I kind of wanted to have like a little chit chat with you guys about where my thoughts are with Minton box dolls. My main doll collection is 
the Sailor Moon World dolls that came out in the early 2000s, like 2002. Actually, the first Sailor Moon World dolls came out in 1999, and then they went all the way up to 2003, I believe, um, as far as the dolls. And so when I started collecting the Sailor Moon World line around 2006 and on, I was so happy, so thrilled when I was, you know, looking on secondhand places like Mandarake, Yahoo Japan Auctions. Um, those were pretty much the main places that I was shopping for at eBay even because, you know, Japanese or people who lived in Japan could also sell on eBay. So whenever I would come across like a mint inbox Sailor Moon World doll, I was like, oh my God, I won the lottery. Oh my gosh, somebody kept this doll mint in box. It's beautiful. It's never been touched by another human at all. And I just was like, oh, it's the Holy Grail, you know? So I think the way that I evolved as a collector really came from that. Like when I, it was the thrill of the hunt when I was actively searching for mint in box Sailor Moon World dolls. And of course, most people would open up dolls or it was for a, you know, a kid at the time. So the kids were opening them up and they were playing, uh, playing with them or a doll collector bought it and they wanted to open it up and display it in their collection um, out of the box. And maybe they tossed the box. So it was more rare to find dolls mint and sealed box um, because of that. And that's kind of how I am as a collector. Um, not only do I love my stuff and, and I really don't plan ever to, to get rid of it or sell it until I'm, I'm much older, you know, when I don't, I probably, probably will want to get rid of some of my material possessions, you know, as I age, you know, right now, no, <laughs> right now we're still, we're going to be a collector for a while, but like the goal for me is like to preserve a lot of this stuff too, for a future generation of collectors. And I just think that's so cool. I want to also give somebody the thrill, like whenever I sell my collection one day, you know, um, before I die that they are going to have the same feeling I did when I discovered a mint in box, mint in sealed box, like the tape's never even been cut, you know, Sailor Moon World doll. So that's where my feelings come from. Like I'm speaking from the heart and um, I know there's going to be some of you guys out there that think, oh my gosh, all dolls and all figures are meant to be deboxed. I just, I had a different experience with it as a collector. And again, I like both. I, as you see, I have some open as well. Um, I, I love open dolls as well and to display them. So like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. I just kind of wanted to give you guys that story on like where I come from and why I love mint and sealed box items so much because <laughs> it was really hard to, you know, to buy some of the, you know, older vintage items and find them in such good condition. And I don't know, as a collector, I kind of feel like um, I need to be doing that too to help other future collectors, like younger collectors, you know? But love these dolls, super happy about them. You guys, please let me know what you think. I will have some B-roll footage on the screen right now so you guys can really see them in all their glory. And boy, are they glorious. Please let me know if you guys ended up getting them or are you hoping that p USA is gonna get them? You guys know, I also am a blogger on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com. We are monitoring that daily pretty much so the moment that they list those if they do list those you guys will know if you check the Sailor Moon Fan Network website every day you'll be in the know I'll also share it on my socials as well so if you guys aren't following me on any of my socials I am at Ochiba Wolf everywhere that's TikTok Twitter here here on YouTube and also on Instagram and Facebook if you guys want the want the news on any of those socials I am hoping for it but I'm at this point I'm not sure if we'll get them it's it's up in the air, but fingers crossed we do. There's one other thing I want to do before we end this video, and I'm kind of stressing because there's a lot of things I have to get done this week before NakaCon. I'm going to be going to NakaCon in Kansas City this weekend, this Memorial Day weekend. There's going to be a 30th anniversary Sailor Moon panel that I'm going to also go to. I'm super stoked. Just found out about that. But before we end this video, you guys, I have a couple of P.O. Box items that I want to open right here, right now. And the first one is from Simply Rye. Simply Rye sent me a pin, I think. I mean, I, he uh, told me that there's going to be some pin mail. So Rye, thank you so much. I, I know what you're sending, but I can't wait to see it in person. And thank you so much for your patience as well. Ah! Okay, first of all, can I read the note? It says, thank you, Brooke. I am sending you this gift as a huge thank you for having me on your channel. You're so welcome, Rye. Um, you guys, Disney, uh, Disney Rye, I always want to call him Disney Rye, but he is now Simply Rye and he is um, transitioning from, you know, pin creation into content creation. And I will, of course, link his socials down there below, you guys. Um, but he says, thank you so much for having me on your channel. I had so much fun on the live and hope to collab in the future and hoping to know you more and interact more going forward. Sorry, I was, I was like, am I reading that right? 
and it just says rye thank you so much rye and you guys rye has been featured on the channel before uh they are an incredible pin maker but now i think they're retiring that oh it's a sad day for the pin for the pin world but his pins will live on his pins will live on i know a lot of us have some of his pins out there and they are freaking amazing this is the one i definitely liked okay this is the one with um they're, they're just all in the black dress oh everybody looks so incredibly uh beautiful and sexy that is the incredible pin that did that simply rye sent me as a gift for just i don't know just hyping him up and you know his new his on his new journey of content creation that you know i always tell people you know go ahead and try it as a hobby if you want to it's really fun and, I, and it connects you with a lot of great people i mean i network i communicate and i'm friends with a lot of people because of what i do and i think that's so special and important but thank you so much fry it's freaking amazing little diana on tv uses head and artemis is just kind of kind of uh, low-key chilling right there on the minako and luna is up there on mamaru oh my gosh there's TV TV up there! Oh my gosh! You guys, this is this is wonderful. Thank you so much again, Rai. I love it. And then that's not it, you guys. That's not it. I got one more thing. And this is from my friend Tammy. And uh she did say Ochiba can open this up on live stream Wednesdays, but I just want to open it up on here. So I hope that's okay, Tammy, for me to open it up now. And I can kind of see through it so I know I'm not like ripping anything. Although I do have some scissors too. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys ever want to send me anything, um, I don't open everything up on the channel, but I'll try if it's like, you know, related to the channel, especially if it's Sailor Moon. Um, yeah, just, just let me know. I have, my PO box is located in the about section of my channel. Um, but here we go. Oh my God, it's that one artist that I follow. Tammy. Tammy. There is an amazing artist uh, that I follow on Instagram, and I cannot think for the life of me what their handle is, but um, post-production, I'll throw it in there. And this is some of their artwork, and I've always loved it. And also, they wrote me, Tammy wrote me a little note here. Um, I hope it's okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. And Tammy, it, username, you might have seen them comment on my stuff. It's Serena Silvercrest. Um, it says, hi, Ochiba Wolf. This is Serena Silvercrest on YouTube. Sorry for the messy handwriting and awful spelling. I'm not good with it with writing. I just wanted to send you this postcard to say how much I love watching your videos. I appreciate all the hard work you do on YouTube and all of the other hard work on the website. The postcard and prints are from Valerie Ash on Facebook. That's right, it's Valerie Ash. I love the artwork uh, that this artist makes. I hope you have an awesome day. Sincerely, Serena. Serena Silvercrest, thank you so much. I am a huge fan of this artist, so I didn't even know that they did prints. I am so incredibly honored that you sent these. Look how beautiful this is. Neo Queen Serenity and King Endymion. Oh my gosh, and they also sent me the outer ones. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I appreciate the gifts. These are incredible and so, so, so kind of you as well. Thank you! The Mooney community is amazing. I'll always stay in the, the Mooney community, you guys. Came all the way from Canada, too. But I think that's it for this video, guys. Remember, I think I'm going to do an unboxing video of the uh, Inner Sailor Guardian style doll soon. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not already subbed, you guys. I'm almost to 17,000. It's it's wild. And I, I really want to get there ASAP. So if you haven't subscribed and you always watch my videos, just hit that subscribe button, you guys. It's completely free. And numbers do matter. Even if you come back and watch my videos, um, what, like numbers matter on the channel like people people see that so it's very important for me to get to 17,000 to get to 20,000 to get to 30,000 someday hopefully that's the goal anyway but I do appreciate all the support you guys have always given me you guys are literally the best and I mean that from the bottom of my heart um don't forget to like this video leave a comment below I'd love to know what you guys think you know first impressions of the Sailor Moon style dolls are these something you guys are gonna get are these something that you did get are these something that you didn't like? Like, you know, as long as you're kind, feel free to say your opinion down below. I know we all don't have to like the same things or think that they're they're beautiful, you know. Um, feel free to state your honest opinion. But of course, please be mindful that, you know, other people may disagree. So it's always good to, like, state your opinion in a nice way. And there is a nice way to, you know, disagree with someone. And I, I do want to, like, push the importance of that. So, you know, nobody gets offended because, again, there's no right or wrong way to collecting and no right or wrong way on what you like and what you don't like. You guys stay awesome. Don't forget to check me out on social media. I'm at Ochiba Wolf everywhere. And we'll see you guys in the next videos.